Hello and welcome everyone into today's charting session uh, where I'm going to be talking about some of the key names in the market. Uh, first we'll start with a SPY roadmap. I will give you guys the game plan what I'm looking for for rest of the week on SPY and Qs and uh, other key ETFs in the markets and then after that um, I've already uh, charted names here. I've already made my watch list and then I'll uh, go through on the watch list which names that I like and then if they're breaking out or coming back in the demand zone how I'm gonna play it. So it'll be uh, much easier for, for you guys uh, to make your own watch list. You don't have to follow all the names but the couple names in there I think there are 25 or 30 names that I um, shortlisted. You guys can you know choose five to eight names on your and then uh, you, know, you can just make your watch list. Yes I'm sharing my screen. Here you go. Just uh, ping one more time and then we'll start. As first let's look at some of the ETFs here. What do we have in the list? First we have ARC. We were bullish on ARC last week and uh, it's working out pretty nicely and this, we expected this uh, break of this prior highs because there was a uh, equal highs here and then price closed right um, around this zone so probably a uh, highest close in in uh, two or three months so definitely looking bullish here uh, i think i think more coming uh, the whole market is looking uh, bullish to me so arc, I, th I think uh, arc names are gonna outperform just like this week most of the arc names or most of the arc, uh, small caps or growth names outperform i think uh, we're going to continue to uh, see this outperforming the market it, um, arc is consolidating in this sideways range so watch this range uh, watch 40 year level break uh, i i think this is where the next liquidity is on the prior level 49 46 so definitely a big move can come um on arc if we break 48 on uh, level um, i think it's definitely going to break because on the daily we have a clean demand formed so as long as bulls are holding this 47 level on the on the intraday time frame we should see continued price climbing up uh, and hitting about this target here for this week right. and then going into smaller time frame if i want to buy the dip you guys don't have to trade the arc name but uh, you can look at arc and then uh, trade the other names like roku snow and all these names right four hour demand form two on, on this one if, if we got a third rejection of this size, you know, be still equal highs, then uh, I'll still be expecting a break of this equal highs. In the retracement level, can give a sniper entry if we get a pullback into this golden pocket and then with the stop loss at 47 with the target of new swing highs. So uh, pretty, pretty decent long setup here uh, for growth names. We have uh, Dow Jones after that. Bullish looking chart to me again, uh, price completed this uh, ABC move. Uh, to the upside a is equal to uh, C right here stopped right at 100% and this was our target for this week and from last week and you guys saw it just hit it to the dot right and uh, what's next for it daily range breakout on this one looking at I think it has some room uh, to go to the upside I have 441 uh, on the but you know probably not gonna make a 10 points move in a week but slow and steady watch these magnets here on the daily time frame um this is not definitely not a good spot to go long i want to see a little bit pull back on onto the magnets or in this is the daily demand that formed and any pullback comes into this demand zone uh, we can see a bounce but price pulls needs to hold this 430 uh, 50 level which is friday lows on this one i don't want to fake out on this because if this level breaks we're gonna have a clean break of structure to the downside then uh, then I might not look for longs unless I see another break of structure in this uh, demand zone that it formed right here this is the demand zone right here you, you know, either, if, either we break this one and then goes to this demand zone and then I will wait for a structure in here something like this and then we'll go long right. then I'm not gonna stay short right. simple stuff IWM I do another uh, bullish looking um, ETF but price is now above this prior swing highs this was our target for this week that's a clear uh, downtrend breakout on high volume too so this was where the liquidity is and uh, so price is still above closed above this level so now this is the next level I'm watching bulls are holding this level and this is the demand zone that formed on the daily which is around uh, 225 to 250. If we see a pullback in this zone, uh, should, should give us easy longs too. Yes, this is a clean demand, also a small gap to fill too. And guys, price comes in demand, it does not mean we're gonna go long right away. We're just gonna 
price goes into demand zone like this lower lows and lower highs and I'm gonna wait for a break of structure or at least a, a fake out of the prior swing low say or something like this and a, followed by a break of structure of a prior swing highs that's gonna give us a confirmation that price is bouncing off a demand zone and then, then we're gonna go along if something like this is not happening then there is no reason to look for longs uh, when the market is not even showing you um, the confirmations of of it right and it works with every time frame you're not just this particular demand but every time frame if you are supply and demand trader and then you take trades on break or structure and this is something that you want to look for and then we have let's just look at uh, spy first looking a little bit bullish to me here on the daily stable consolidation on this uh, five day sideways consolidation a lot of people um, probably shot at this move here on uh, on the daily time frame you see okay you know we got this a, a bearish engulfing uh, on the daily and then now i'm gonna go short right but that's not how it works right you see on the if you want to see a reversal of the high you want to see a high volume candle this was a high volume but it was not a lot it, it was this is not a huge volume spike up here so i was not interested in shorts at all and then if we look at smaller time frame price did not even break this prior swing low series price held this low this was a demand that it formed on the hourly time frame price came into this demand zone and bounced this is the demand zone i gave you uh, and then in, we expected a bounce on new highs and this is what we got but right now two scenarios uh, from here i'll be watching this lows here on intraday time frame to go longs this is 582 level and then we also have this uh, demand form to right here so if you see a you know, minor pullback in spy uh, early next week you something like this and then even expecting a bounce of this level to new all-time highs again and then if you get a, a little bit deeper pullback looking at the daily levels for daily this is a key key level that bulls definitely needs to hold on daily 578 60 level because if this level um, is holding if this level breaks that's going to be a clear change in uh, market you know, structure here and then if there's a market structure change then uh, probably shorts gonna show up on this retracement here so bulls definitely needs to hold this 578 60 level on the daily time frame so this would be my second uh, zone where i would be watching longs right again it's a, uh, same criteria price comes into demand zone I'm gonna wait for a smaller time frame break of structure to go along with the stop loss at, at the lows right if it's not happening i'm not going long so these are two scenarios i'm watching for spy just a long trades for now on in demand zone but if if price opens sideways and uh, we can uh, quickly play scalp to on, on on the downside because looking at queues looking at queues price side is consolidation but if we look at on the uh, daily time frame price looks like closed in a supply zone here not a solid supply but still something like this is a supply zone the reason i did not go long over the weekend even some of the shots are looking bullish to me is price did close in, in this uh, supply zone here and uh, price also consolidated sideways on the friday range so we can see some dump if we see a, some dump in this zone then i'll be watching this demand zone to go long if we have a small gap to fill in here and then bulls definitely needs to hold this lows here there's a daily lows 487 63 as long as this uh, level's holding we can see uh, bulls buying every single day by this on here or something around here so it's definitely it's a key level here for queues to hold going into the next week and then i'm definitely expecting new all-time highs in queues if i see a price breaking out of this uh, 495 60 level easy longs to on a break and retest with a target of this prior swing highs same is edf looking a little bearish than uh, other charts because of uh, nvidia and the, the news came out and the market just started dumping fake out of the prior swing high this is something that uh, keep in mind we got a fake out or sweep, liquidity sweep of this full move higher price closed below retested this level and then another um, bearish close on friday so again same level bulls needs to hold this uh, 245 70 level or 246 some somewhere around that as long as bulls are holding this or this level uh, they are safe if not then we break this level a clean move lower highs and lower lows gonna form and then this is going to be a valid supply zone right here if something this happens right price breaks below and then this is gonna be a valid base 
or bears to short price goes in there and then we're gonna take a short position on semis but as long as this low is holding there's no reason to look for shorts easy peasy stuff but to me semis are definitely looking a little bit bearish than other names i'm watching uh, let's let's move on to some of the names that i you know shortlisted in my watch list and then we'll talk about semis later on uh rivian uh I was short Rivian last week, but you only got 10, 15% on this one. And then uh, I closed my position around break even. We waited two, three days, but move didn't come. And then um, I closed my puts. Uh, probably will enter again. The, the setup is still valid, the setup is still good. Uh, sideways consolidation, pretty weak looking chart on the daily, watching nine, uh, 984 level break. And then easy on uh, 926 is our next target on, on Rivian. Uh, because this is uh, the next demand zone I see right around the zone to break this and we'll take shots either swing or day trade roblox it's okay roblox we can skip this one tvna this name is just you know on it here right from the bottom from almost three bucks went to almost 200 dollars uh, earnings coming up and then price is now consolidating in this range here so we can see a pre-earnings dump or a run up here of this range so keep um, you know watching this range if there is a fake out here happened uh, last week so if this is a clean if there's a trap on the bull side then we can see a dump um, in CVNA so watching 187 it is support here we break and then we can see a nice dump on the daily on intraday time frame at least four to five percent dump into this demand zone here on CVNA we break higher and then we have you know 200 site level as our target on this name it's definitely on my watch list Google rejected daily supply zone here. No confirmation of a daily change of structure because price is still um, sideways here. Can give a quick trade uh, below 162.40 or with this with a minor target. You know this is up. Don't ex I don't expect a break of prior lows, but you know a quick trade you know, Google can give in this small demand zone that it formed below. On intraday, this is almost 50 to 70 percent move. So we'll definitely look for a, you know a short trade on the, on the lows break here on google disney uh the, the setup that i like pretty a uh, good a uh, long setup here both breakout looks like the wave the wave three is uh, gonna be next on disney 97.56 um a big big level on disney we, we expected longs to work out on disney this week a price uh, came into this demand zone bounced and then made an almost made a new highs and now this formed another demand on the daily so any pullback we uh get again on the daily I think it's going to be an easy bias too and I'm going to pull up my fibs if uh, price comes into this golden ratio 38 or 50% retracement here price comes here and then stop loss at this 93.56 with a target of new swing highs and breaking this 98.72 ultimate target on this is this zone here around 101 102 definitely uh, can come on Disney so should be on your watch list of going long very low risk uh, high reward type setup Intel can skip this one. AM, AMD has already dumped a lot, so we'll look for AM. AMD is the one that I like the more. A forum is a good setup, guys, for longs. Price came into first we nailed the a forum two weeks ago. I gave you guys this demand zone that price is gonna bounce to, to the new highs, and this would happen. Price came to this demand zone, sideways consolidation, and then boom, new highs, and then price formed another demand zone and then made a new highs, came to this demand zone, also a golden uh, retracement level. And bouncing off this level too, so you know a good long setups here for a firm. I can can see a new highs. I'm watching 45 level, 45 breaks, and then uh, we have a clean, just a really low volume area here on above 45. So can definitely give a bagger on this high break, and then also high volume candle, uh, reversal candle here, a sweep too of the prior swing lows. You see, a sweep of prior swing lows, fake out, and breaks this highs and then easily can push up to this demand zone and ultimate target is this prior swing highs hold side of section flagging um i like the setup you know this massive range breakout you know huge almost two to three months almost three to four months of range um breaking out on hurt followed by successful retest and then now is consolidating sideways in in, in a bull flag on probably low, you know, low volume consolidation so definitely a good long setup on a break of 27 35 i'm watching this level and then we have a 28 23 target and 29 40 on hood 
definitely a good looking bullish chart again guys looking at art all these growth names are looking good so unless i see art breaking down um, of the daily level that i gave you earlier then there is no reason for me to look for shorts unless market is showing us that it's really going to go down now market is clearly now making higher highs and higher lows just cl uh, climbing stairs so there is no reason to sell your you know, positions or to short on just random candlesticks. So just wait for the price to break the structure on at least hourly time frame if you really want to you know, short, uh, short the market. Roku was on my list to go long um, last week, but we got sideways consolidation almost all week. We have this massive gap to fill. Looking at the volume uh, profile, huge volume breakout here. Another uh, accumulation is happening. You see this bars here. I think this is going to act as another launch pad uh, to this level here around 90s. So almost I think uh, 9 to 10 points pump can definitely come in Roku on a break of 80 level. This 80, yes, 81 is a key level. So if you just want to go long, this is a level that Roku needs to hold. 76 level needs to hold. Can definitely play commons too on this name. There's a demand formed coming here and then can definitely go higher and higher filling the gap so risk is pretty much uh, three to five percent here and but the upside is almost 15 percent or even more we have this big gap so 25 percent upside with the three to five percent risk um, pretty decent setup here for longs i mean walmart would <laughs> this it's just gonna keep going higher and higher it's unstoppable name with every pullback they're buying it now it's on a tier keep going higher i i, I still expecting new highs on this name not looking bearish at all as long as bulls holding this prior this is weekly swing low 79 they're gonna buy every single uh, pullback on this one massive consolidation almost more than uh, two to three weeks and then most likely getting ready for another higher if i see a daily candle closing above then easy longs guys on this one price gonna uh, almost move higher of this range let's take this range target here three percent on here so yes yeah, so a big move can come on walmart uh, on break of this uh, range here tesla is the one i'm a little bit bearish on tesla because price uh, failed to break above this uh, resistance is here it looks like a bear flag uh, con consolidation after this massive dump on it i think one more low can come on tesla i'm watching 219 uh, support here on on the hourly time frame so we break 219 and then this is where the liquidity is and then we can target this liquidity and then probably a fake out and then it starts to move higher right we'll, we'll find out right and then price is also in there this is a demand zone is a big gap to right here it's a big gap until until up until 210 and then it's definitely bearish than all other names looking at the daily uh, time frame i think market was just waiting for magnets to catch up and then this magnets uh, catch up and then we got a tag on the magnets i think more sellers gonna show up um, watch this uh, 219 definitely on my watch list to go short but if we have this 22460 level two no I'm just i'm not gonna go long on this name just yet as enph it was on my short list even we took a lotus on this on friday but it, it did not work out but the setup is still intact on the dailies looking at the daily time frame you know got, we got this massive uh, range breakdown on this name one two three the uh, fourth uh, uh, it tried to bounce but kind of closed below now low volume consolidation of this zone looking very bearish to me i'm watching a 90 uh, 77 level to take shot on this 88 84 and 83 some big targets definitely some big targets here on this one or one can just place a short position right right of open with the tight stops at 93 64 so we have almost two and a half percent of risk on this trade with a target of almost eight to ten percent uh, move to the downside or even more we have this gap fill around this zone so eight to fifteen percent move can definitely come on this very weak looking name amazon no we'll skip amazon let's look a lot apples i think apples uh, gonna be side of action next week uh, so instead of trading apple i'll look for something else it was nice move off the lows but uh, with equal highs it's definitely going to break this highs because this is that's what the liquidity is equal highs made and then rejected now sideways action look at the daily magnets i think it's, it's going to consolidate a little more for a day or two or three and then we can see a breakout next week most likely it's going to be chop on apple oil names are looking good i think uh, one leg higher can come on um, oil names uh, cvx uh, looks like bull flagging 
to also consolidating in this low volume area where is my anchor you guys see high volume breakout here um, volume profile there's a little uh, to no volume in this range so if we start breaking higher of friday highs or even on uh, this weekly highs then easy long scan come on uh, on crude oil, on crude oil names so looking at oil it's this not a good looking chart on the daily a little bit weak in the demand zone though but watch for oil reversal if you know if you want to go long on oil names but this names has not a good look just what um, on oil i'll be watching at least an hourly change of structure here so huge range breakdown on the hourly so i want to see a price uh, recapturing this uh, 69 72 level again for me to look for longs in the oil names so watch on uh, crude oil if you want to long uh, cvx and any other names and yeah, this is some of the names that i like for the next trade is they are this i made the list out of all these names um, so some i think there are some different names to all go over uh upsd i like uh, a long setup on this we got this a huge range of huge is a round base bottom a breakout on high volume and then price bounced off this are uh, daily magnets and also this uh, prior swing highs looking looking very um, bullish to me i'm watching 55 uh, cycle level breakout on this name of almost a whole week of consolidation here and watching 55 um, breakout and then uh, breakout we can see definitely big targets here 6473 um, is my next target on this one because looking at the uh, volume profile right here see is zero to no volume here in this zone above 55 or above this 57 40 level uh, we break i'm probably going to give another big move like this it's eight to ten percent type day a forum we already talked about a forum the video and you know google we talked snow is another good long setup that i like huge range break down uh, breakout and then followed by a retest you know looks like the same as a forum setup that i gave you um, around here this this setup looks like snow is the same a huge move higher consolidation in a bull flag abc uh, looks like a you know, clean move and bulls holding this level this is a demand zone that i have so bulls hold this zone probably one more low if we get to test uh, this demand and then uh, move higher to test this uh, supply zone here so should be on your watch list if the setup you know does not come into play until next week but this is definitely good looking setup as long as bulls are holding 113 um i think uh and 4 130 is definitely in play in snow enph you know all already talked about this one the Matt is a bearish looking chart looking at weekly not weekly but daily daily is a fake out of prior swing highs and sideways consolidation uh, for almost three days looks like a dump coming in meta just by looking at the chart it looks like it's just ready to dump uh, i'm watching 574 level breaks and then we have 565 and 568 these are two levels i'm watching below 574 i think it's gonna make one more loss at least not a good looking chart amd is another one i am i'm very bearish on on amd we got this weekly uh, weekly sp uh, supply rejection this was on my short list from last week price went into this uh, golden uh, retracement and then also this weekly supply why i was uh, looking for short because lower highs lower lows another lower highs expectation is price is gonna make another lower highs here on amd so there's no reason for me to stay uh, bullish on amd you know, if the price is this bearish on the daily time frame we also broke another this prior swing lows this one price broke this swing lows and then lower lows and lower highs on the daily time frame too again after we started making higher highs and higher lows so bearish looking chart to me i'm going to look for shorts only in this name i think a gap will coming on uh, amd around 148 40 level i'm watching this is the demand zone right here it's a daily demand around this zone i'm watching 152 90 break and just gonna fill this gap probably a bounce after this but we'll see we'll reassess after if you want to if you want to bounce off this level if you want to continue then it's move to the downside smci uh, another one on my short list uh, going next nice week that uh, again it's a bearish name you know this was just a meme stock and then we just you know pushed higher and higher up to 120 and then now it's back to 47 um, and it looks like a consolidating in a bear flag and uh, a lot of bearish activity to on options flow on this name 
I'm expecting more lows uh, in this name. So I'm just probably gonna take a trade right off open if uh, price opens sideways in this name as long as price is staying below this Friday highs. Um, I'm, I'm gonna open a sh uh, short position with a target of 45.71 and then ultimate target is this demand zone here below. 42, I think it's 42, yes 42 is my target here on uh, SMCI. This level and then probably bounce, but if no bounce, it's gonna continue to drop to the downside. So guys, uh, these are some of the names that I'm watching going to next week. I will also uh, upload this recording right after um, uh, this class. But if you, if you have any questions or if you want to look at any charts, um, let me know in the chat room. Amazon. Amazon is a daily sideways action here, but we got hourly fake out here on this one. If, as, as I said, huge closed in a, a supply zone and then Amazon looking uh, like this. So can see a little bit more uh, retracement here in Amazon. So watch this demand zone. Watch this if I'm gonna go long or if I'm short, this will be my target here on Amazon. And then hourly, the demand on demand zone, go to five or 15 minutes. If five and 15 minutes are breaking a structure here, then I will possibly get out of my shorts and then get into longs, right? But if not, then this is the liquidity sweep level right here. So should continue uh, to the downside, right? So watch this zone on Amazon. Crowd. I think it's looking bullish, not bullish. Oh, it's a bear flagging. The rejection of this uh, golden zone. Again, it's, it's not a confirmation yet. No confirmation unless we break this 300 level to the downside. Because looking at the daily, price is constantly making higher highs and higher lows. The price is constantly making this higher highs and higher lows. So expectation is price holds this 300 level and then we uh, see another highs in price. Right. So as long as bulls are holding this uh, 300, 299 level, I think it's gonna move higher. But on intraday, we can have these are equal lows right here. This is the only demand zone I like for longs or the breakout. Only two setups. Either price comes into this demand zone and then uh, a long setup comes and then we break this highs and then longs comes. Not somewhere around in this zone as it's coming going to the downside. So watching this, we, we break this level 300 and then uh, it's gonna be a change in data on a daily structure which we have not seen since this bottom. So if this happens, then then what's gonna happen next, right? Easy short here, lower lows and lower highs. Do I'm interested in any long-term stock. I, I don't trade long-term stocks, but I did give uh, my members uh, some of the key names uh, that, that can work for the next couple of months or, or weeks. Uh, this uh, Adobe is the one that I like. Uh, a really uh, low risk setup here on this one, I'm watching for price to tag this 463 level, and then as long as this 433 hold, and then we have a almost 30 to 35% upside um, in this name with a really low risk. Um, if you just wanna swing for a couple of weeks or months, and then uh, we have, uh, Nike is another one that I liked. Really low risk, almost 5% downside, and then um, I have pretty aggressive targets on this one, this gap fill. If price really starts to move higher, ARK names is, uh, moving higher so five percent risk on nike with a target of almost 45 percent or even this 91 level right just swing trading roku i told you uh, about roku four to five percent risk and with a target of this massive uh, gap fill price used to hold the 76 level comes back into the demand zone i'm expecting it to keep climbing higher and higher scare we talk scare did not talk scare is the massive bull flag breaker as long as price on the daily and weekly is going to hold Yes, another weekly highs. So bulls hold this uh, 63, 64 level. I think uh, it's, they're gonna target this highs here on Square. Right, pretty uh, big name. Because space, if you're into penny stocks, um, I would just buy this penny and then uh, we'll forget about it. Looking at the, a lot of volume coming in in this zone, this is something that you wanna see on a reversal. Right, huge volume coming in right near the right near the bottom in this uh, space name SPCE. Uh, Virgin Galactic Holdings, right? Um, it used to be a meme name, still a meme name, but you know we can see a massive pump. All the names uh, are pumping. This one should be also on your watch list here. As long as bulls are holding this lows here, 572, I think a huge upside is possible in this name. Look at the daily huge volume breakout on Friday. I think it's gonna continue to move higher uh, too. So. This 575 you know, can be good stops on this one, and then just just write, just write like that. Right. Yes, uh, BTC name is definitely looking bullish, and then one name that is on my list is uh, Riot uh, Platforms. 
looking at weeklies here this massive fake out here you guys see of this range price is massive range almost consolidating this range for a over a year and then a year on long range fake out here and then can be closed above on high volume also bounced off this demand zone here bounce of this demand zone breaking above this prior highs a clean uh, structure break so bulls holding bulls holding this level again nine bulls holding nine i think a huge pump can come into this same and it's also lagging uh, pretty hard all this all the crypto miners they are already hitting um, all time highs and stuff this one is lagging a little bit it might not you know go all the way up to 70 but we can still see some decent move uh, in this name uh, coins definitely looking bullish looking at coin same kind of setup here on coin um, this is something that you don't want to see if you are bearish this is a cluster fuck of candles uh, there's no clean move to the downside right price is just going sideways and uh, now it weekly bullish engulfing on high volume is probably going to break this prior highs 272 um, on this name equal highs to right here so also form this weekly demand too little bit um, below here but still demand zone is valid guys I, I gave you all these names uh, for long term right or long term swings you can get into three to six month out options too if you want um, but we have very clear risk levels too on these names Celsius is it, I think CELH it was the ticker for this name yes sideways consolidation wait wait for 36 break on this one uh, price is bouncing off this uh, daily demand here, uh, weekly demand so watch 36 app there's still not a fake out confirmed of this name just like a riot on it right and dead but you want to see a weekly candle closing above this level and then that is going to be a fake out some high volume this is something that i like in the demand zone right um wait for 36 break that's going to also confirm a break of structure on a weekly time frame and then as long as 36 levels holding on a daily time frame no candles closing uh, back below this zone um, I think this this name definitely have that uh, look to to pump higher. Looking at the daily sideways, yeah, just wait, wait for 36 break, and then this can be our stop on 36 break. We can have this 31 uh, 46 over as, as as a stop, or playing intraday. This 36 can be the same stop. Can you check crypto? Too? You can check uh, Bitcoin. Broke above this prior swing highs. You know, looking bullish. To so watch this uh, 66 uh, 600 level on bitcoin i think it's gonna uh, hit 70k that is something yeah, looking good looking definitely weekly um, breakout weekly change of structure again this higher highs and higher lows right price was forming this lower lows and lower highs that's the first break uh, we got in weeks uh, and it's closing above so i think uh, they're gonna attack the 70k level and then we have this 72 um, after that so it's hard to be bearish on crypto here at these levels we have unless price starts making lower lows and lower highs on the, on the daily time frame you want to see if i want to bearish on crypto i want to see price move down here move up again and then another move to the downside a lot of work that bears need to do in, in order to get the bearish price action on btc but so far looking uh, pretty uh, bullish to me this is something you want to see on the if you if you are a bear on crypto so far nothing like this so there's no reason to be one Alright guys, so that's it for today. Hope you guys like this session and then I will be uploading this section um, later on. And then if you guys still have any questions, let me know in the chat. I will answer you. With that, I'm going to take a leave and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with the live trading.